Hi viewers, welcome to LMR Solution. Today we are going to see about neural network based control approach for power quality improvement in grid connected solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is the model is created for a grid connected PV system with the neural network control approach in the voltage source converter so here you can see that this is a solar pv panel uh, single panel rating is uh, 213 watts and then here you are using 25 series model and 18 parallel string and total size of PVRA that means total power generation is around 95.9 kilowatts okay so the maximum power generation at a standard degradation condition so here you can see that we are using incremental conductance LPT so it received two inputs PV panel voltage and current so the based upon PV panel, PV panel voltage and current, so it going to be uh, generate the reference voltage. So here we mentioned it at T is not a duty cycle, it is a reference voltage. Okay. So that means here the, we are providing parameter in terms of voltage. Okay. That means between two voltage, that means minimum limit and maximum limit in terms of voltage and uh, increment value of uh, small change in voltage is also given as the form of volts okay so the output from the this incremental conductance will be the reference voltage for this control of uh, the uh, voltage control of uh, dc link in the voltage source inverter okay and also here we are measuring uh, pv power so and then here you can see that so this is a control logic so before that i will explain this one that means uh, the pv is directly connected to the voltage source inverter via this dc capacitor and here we are using coupling inductor and then this is will be at the cr 3 ps grid and here we are connected a non-linear load and also here we connected to one circuit breaker in the one phase okay in order to create the unbalanced load condition okay so here it comes here so this is a control logic so this is a control logic receiving uh, that means we need to uh, generate the here we are not using any PLL concept right phase lock loop concept so without the phase lock, phase lock loop concept uh, we are generating the reference current and uh, is going to be compared with the, the voltage source inverter current for generating a pulse okay to control the voltage source inverter so here we are not using any PLL concept so here uh, you see this is nothing but PV power so this is the terminal voltage of the voltage source inverter <coughs> So here we are generating the reference current that means uh, source current based upon PV power. So this is nothing more load current. So the load current is generated based upon that uh, neural network. Okay, so this is a load current magnitude that means uh, requirement of load current magnitude. So this is come from that uh, neural network. So based upon the nonlinear we give nonlinear current of the this nonlinear loads okay and here we have the vdc the vdc nothing but uh, we are taking the voltage across that uh, this capacitor this one so it's nothing but vdc and it, here we are using that uh, some low pass filter to remove that noise in that uh, measurement and it going to be compared with the uh, vdc reference okay that means first it going to be converted into per unit value by using this gain block. So after that it going to be compared with this reference voltage. Okay. 
so both will be processed via PA controller. So this PA controller then again processes via the gain in battery. So this will be provide the uh, power loss, loss power current, right? So here we are going to sum the source current and the load current and the loss power current. Okay. So finally we will get uh, the reference current magnitude. Okay. So here I will explain you how we are, the neural network works, right? So here the neural, net, neural network is trained based upon load current, so different load setting value, right? So the here the, the neural network receive three inputs. That means the load current IL, ILA, ILB, and ILC. That means load current in the all line okay so here we generate the different uh, scenario load current for the different uh, settings for uh, we are generating the data load current data for non-linear load and balance load okay and normal load condition and then the based upon that uh, non-linear load and balance load and normal load condition we created the uh, output data okay so that's going to be given to the neural network. So based upon this uh, load data under non-linear and balanced load condition, so we have to train the neural network. So finally, the train network uh, used to here for generating, uh, generating the, the load current reference. Okay. So this is going to be used here okay, in order to generate the actual reference current. Or controlling the voltage source. So here we have UPA, UP, UPB, and then UPC. I think about a unit vector voltages. Okay, so here first, so here you can see that we have to measure VABC. So from the VABC, you have to calculate VSC, VSP, and then VSC by using this formula. So by using the VSC, VSP, so you have to calculate. A terminal voltage so used to a terminal voltage okay so this is a terminal voltage calculation by using vsc vsp and vsc so and then the u that unit vector voltage is calculated based upon the dividing vsp by vt and vsa by vt and vsc by vt so finally we will we'll get up a and upb and then upc okay so here we are getting that the reference current, so it's like magnitude, it have only magnitude, but not to generate pulse for that, that means pulse for uh, voltage sourcing water, so that should be con uh, compared with the, the actual actual current of the voltage sourcing water, okay. So here we are multiplying that on the current reference magnitude with the unit vector voltage, okay, then it will be converted into sinusoid. So here we are using that unit vector voltage concept for generating the reference current wave. Okay, current wave, right? Based upon this reference current magnitude. So here we are not using any phase, phase block loop concept. Okay, without phase block loop concept, we are generating the reference current waveform. So this reference current going to be compared with the voltage source inverter current. Okay, so this one. So here we are measuring that voltage source motor current. It going to be compared with this reference current generator, okay? And it going to be processed via hysteresis controller. So this hysteresis controller will generate the pulse for this voltage source motor. So this will be again it going to control this voltage source motor in order to uh, inject the reactive power from the solar PV to the grid and also uh, the mitigate the problem of um, we get the problem due to this non-linear load, right, and unbalanced load condition. So, because of non-linear load, what happened? The source current, that means this current, current current is going to be a non-sinusoidal. So, because of this control algorithm, what happened? Uh, it, uh, this try to make the source current sinusoidal. Okay. So that means it going to be inject the current, not to avoid this problem. That means and sinusoidal problem with the source current because of this non-linear load and also 
during that unbalanced load condition also this system try to uh, maintain sinusoidal current in the system and also we can see the variation uh, variation of uh, uh, pv power pv voltage and current during um, unbalanced load condition and the non linear load condition okay during that uh, simulation so so here you can see that uh, the non linear uh, load that means unbalanced load condition is created at the time of 5 seconds so up to 5 seconds the non linear load connected to the system after 5 seconds uh, uh, what happen one line will be this line c will be disconnected from the system so this will be created uh, as an unbalanced load condition in this okay so now i open the cells so already the simulation will be executed for the 6 seconds so i will explain the concept of by one So this is a result that means this is a result of uh, PV. So this this is radiation temperature. So this is PV voltage and PV current, and then this is PV power. This is uh, dislink capacitor voltage in per unit, and then this is known as uh, uh, grid voltage and current. Grid voltage and current. This is inverter voltage and current. This is load voltage and current. First, I explain about the PV. So initially, that irradiation is 1000 watts per meter square. So this is a change of the PV voltage and current. So after uh, 0.5 seconds, uh, the PV reaches the maximum power because of that in incremental MBPT algorithm. Okay. Here you can see that after uh, three seconds, this irradiation change from 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square. So, because of that, what happened? PV power maximum power is from the, this level that means around 95.7 kilowatt to around 4.5 kilowatt, right? So, this is the working of MPPT in the solar PV side, okay? So, this is a variation of that uh, PV voltage during that change of irradiation during change from 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square and then the current change of current due to change in irradiation okay next time i'm going to explain the um, that the non-linearity in this system that mean so here we are connected non-linear load in this system so here i'm going to find this one from this so here you can see that the nature of load current is non-sinusoidal right So here you can see that the, this is load voltage and current. So you can see here this nature of uh, load current is non sinusoidal. So definitely this will be affect the uh, grid current quality. Okay, but here we are using that uh, uh, solar PV with some control concept. Here you can see that the grid current is sinusoidal. Okay, so is uh, that means this load uh, nonlinearity is not affect the grid source current because of this control logic we are used in the solar pv uh, voltage source inverter so it's not affected in the grid side and also i need to yeah this is a uh, inverter current that means voltage source inverter current and voltage okay so, because of non-linear load, there is no problem in that grid uh, current, right? So, that means this control logic used in the, the solar PV voltage source inverter is mitigated that uh, permanent problem. So, next time I am going to explain uh, that non-linear balance, unbalanced load condition. The time of 5 seconds, uh, the unbalanced load condition is created. So, here you can see that.
so unbalanced load condition is created here that means um, the lines is disconnected from the load side so because of that unbalanced load condition created here so here because of uh, unbalanced load condition what happened that uh, pv voltage will be oscillate around some time after that it comes to that uh, normal voltage level that means peak power that in voltage at maximum power point level and also can goes to some understood and then come back to the original after some time here also you can see that the peak power of the panel also go, to, go down to particular time and then come back to the peak power that in peak power point so after uh, unbalanced load condition created in system so after this is around uh, around 0.3 seconds right it will take 0.3 seconds to um, these two the two actual point right and also you can see that in the uh, grid current right grid current during that unbalanced load condition so here you can see that the, the grid current nature also maintain uh, sinusoidal uh, here you can see that so this is a inverter current right so here also you can see that uh, nature of Inverter current is sinusoidal. Okay, so there is no problem in the uh, grid current and the inverter current, and also after uh, unbalanced load condition, so it will take 0.3 seconds to restore the normal operating point. So this is working of uh, neural network based control of the solar CV grid connected system for improving the power quality in the system. Okay. So thanks for watching our video, so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you, thank you so much.